straight out of South America, the deadly bird flu virus has spread more aggressively than ever before in wild birds and marine mammals ever since arriving in 2022, raising the risk of it evolving into a bigger threat to humans. The disease, once largely confined to bird species, appears to be spreading between mammals. The strain has already killed a handful of dolphins in Chile and Peru, some 50,000 seals and sea lions along the coasts, and at least half a million birds region-wide. To confirm mammal-to-mammal -mammal transmission, scientists would likely need to test infections in live animals. It's almost certainly happened, said Richard Webby, a virologist at St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. It's pretty hard to explain some of these large infections and have it die off without having mammal-to-mammal -mammal spread. The strain has shown up in dozens of bird species, including some migrating species, which can spread it beyond the region. As climate change escalates, animals will be forced to move into new territories, mixing with one another in new ways and possibly boosting opportunities for the virus to further mutate. It's a matter of time before you will detect the first South American strain in North America, said Alonzo Alfro Nunes, a viral ecologist at University of Copenhagen. The growing concern has prompted the 35 countries in the Pan-American Health Organization PAHO to convene regional health experts and officials at a meeting this week in Rio de Janeiro. The group plans to launch the world's first regional commission to oversee bird flu monitoring and response efforts. Since the virus was first detected in Colombia in October 2022, there have been two known cases in humans on the continent, one each in Ecuador and Chile. Both came from exposure to infected birds, while those patients survived, H5N1 bird flu is deadly to humans in roughly 60% of cases worldwide.